the crap? Why are you being glitchy? What did you just do? Ah, uh, nothing over me. Hi, you haven't spoken for two weeks. Why are you speaking to me now? Because I have my own reasons. You know, reasons. Really? Anyways, I have a request for you. You have a request for me. Okay, why would you give me a request when you're the editing version of me, or your name is Editing Warren? You know, personal reasons, if you know what I mean. Okay, what is your personal request? Turn the camera. I said turn the camera. Oh, right, I have to adjust the camera, correct? Yes. Okay. Let's turn the camera to the left, and voila. Okay, what now? There you go. Did you seriously just put Pikachu on my bed? Yes, I did. That doesn't help. Is there any better way to tell me of what? And there. And Pikachu has disappeared. Okay, then look, to, then look on the bed. Well, that was always there. Like, that was there this morning. You know, oh. I put it out there. You know, like, a few minutes ago, I put this out. Oh. Wait a minute. You want me to play this again? Hang yes. on. I should probably put this in the camera. Um, I, you want me to play this again? Yes. Okay. Well, for, for the editing people, for people around... Oh, you want me to tell, this, tell the, uh, the story? Okay, let's fix the camera up, and I will explain the story. So, uh, originally, I did a series, or a live streaming series, about Pokemon Sword and Shield. However, um, because of some copyright claims with music, and my idiocy, by forgetting to turn down audio devices... Um, like, hang on. Actually, I'll check again before I click it. But, yeah, I forgot to turn... But... When I started the series, everything was fine until I got the new laptop and I forgot to turn on the audio. The game got copywritten because of one battle music in the game. And I'm not going to go specifying what it was. So, um, we're going to try this game again. See if we get better results. And if I can complete the series, that would be a miracle and a half. So, without further ado, let's get into it. And we're starting off with some errors. Good for me. Saving game. Good for you. Here we go. I'm going to be safe and turn it down a bit for her. Alright, here we go! Welcome, one and all! Welcome to the wonderful world of Pokemon. Our beloved Galar region is a wonderful place with thriving nature. Beautiful cities and many Pokemon with which we share our lives. As you know, our society is able to thrive. Thanks to help from these mysterious creatures that we call Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon are all around us in the sea, in the sky, and even with us in our towns. And those of us who choose to raise and train Pokemon to do battle and compete, we call Pokemon Trainers. Oh, but I am getting carried away. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rose, and it is a pleasure to be here. Now turn your gaze to the Galar region's greatest Pokemon trainer, your undefeated champion. It's time for Champion Leon's Exhibition Match. And that's way too much a dramatic entrance. Exhibition all not Leon. Your pristine record. Oh, come on. I just missed it. You know, I don't lose battles, Raihan. Charizard, Dynamax. 
I did not get to finish reading that because the game order skips it. And Pokemon Sword. There's a Wooloo. Okay, you know what? I'm going to turn it up to about halfway. And we're going to see what happens. Alright, let's see what happens. Because I can always just re-record it by deleting the data. If need be. But it's just going to be annoying because my week would just be... Hello! Hello? Hello? Okay. Oh! That your flash new phone, Victor? Were you watching Lee's exhibition match on it? But you can't cheer him on with your hands full. That's physically true. You know, the only way to properly cheer on Lee would be with his famous Charizard pose. Uh, okay then. Hop, didn't expect to see you here today, dear. Isn't this the big day? Yeah, that is exactly why I came running over to get Victor. Never mind watching the match now. I've got it recording at home anyway. I record all my brother's matches. Wow, you must be that dedicated for the younger brother. Come with me, Victor. He should be here any minute. And Lee always brings presents when he visits, so I wouldn't forget that bag if I were you. Yeah. Now I've got to run. See you at my meeting later. And my tongue got twisted. Anyway, so stand up. And yeah, we have a Munchlax sleeping. I wonder, I'm going to talk to the Munchlax. I'm gone. Okay. Do you know what would be funny is if you actually got the, uh, the Munchlax as an actual partner in the start? I don't know why. Rushing off in that state, Victor. Didn't Hop say you should bring your bag? I lost the word in your room. We know where it is because I just showed it off for like five seconds. You grabbed your dad's old bag. And there we go. Okay, open. Yeah, I think we know what we're doing. Also, this is a webcamless live... Not live stream. Damn it, I've got a habit of that. Webcamless, let's play. So that means there's going to be full screen, but zero webcam. Uh, I may put the webcam on, like, every once in a while. So, yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, don't you look okay, yeah, tolerate along, but remember, no going into the forest. We know that's not a door. This is a door. Now, for people who have actually seen my live stream, or were lucky enough to see it before I started deleting the footage, uh, I chose the water type starter for that playthrough, or the scrapped playthrough. I'm debating on what to do this time. Ha ha ha! Have a look at you, Victor. That old bag looks like it could pull you over. At least we know that it should hold anything Lee might bring, even if it's as big as a Snorlax. Are you seriously making fun of Snorlax? I have a Snorlax, damn it! That can fly! So, that doesn't make physical sense. What are you doing, Wooloo? A Wooloo? What's it doing there? It's tackling the gate. Hey, you silly Wooloo. I see what you're up to. Don't go using tackle on the fencing. Now you listen. No going past that fence. No! Everyone knows there are scary Pokemon living in the slumbering weald. <laughs> It's still doing it! Literally, I think it's like, oh, I can't go there, but I really want to go, so I'm going to do it anyway! Now that, now that that's taken care of... Uh, how about it, Victor? Let's race! I, I can make it to my house first, what with you, looking around that big old bag. And there he goes.
Anyways, we got trainers all around, and I think we have to go left. I think? Yeah, I have to go left, because the Wulu are blocking the path, even though, like, you could fit in them. Alright, in the door. Okay, I made the right choice. Good. Anyways. Mum, is he here? There you are at last, Hop. Oh, and you've brought along Victor. Hello, dear. Yeah, yeah, but where's Lee? Have you got him crammed in a cupboard? How's Lee gonna fit in a cupboard? They're so small! He's still not here yet. For the hundredth time, honestly, Hop, you must learn some patience. He's probably only just arrived at the station in Wedgehurst. Then that's where I'm going. You know Lee is hopeless with directions. I'll make sure he doesn't get lost on the way. Oh, you will? Yes, that probably is for the best. Uh, you've got to come with me, with Victor. You've got to come with Victor. Uh, you've still never met my big bro, right? You can't miss out on your chance to meet the undefeated champion. I'll wait for you out on the route. Okay, that is still not a door because the damn carpet. Because here's the thing, every time there's a carpet, there's usually a door. And I keep tackling a wall, or I keep running into a wall. Not tackling, that's the wrong terminology. Alright, let's get a move on. Only remember Victor. Wild Pokemon could come out of nowhere if you walk through patches of tall grass. I've got my Wooloo with me, so I'm ready for battles against Wild Pokemon, of course. But not you, Victor. So, we'll steer clear of the tall grass as we go. Okay, then. Also, here's the thing. Um, It's not going to happen this at the moment, but when we beat Pokemon Sword... Also, there's... Well, when we do beat Pokemon Sword... At some point, I will play Pokemon Shield, just to so show off a couple of the differences. But, when I do play Shield, I'm going to have a bit of a challenge. Um, it's still in the works, but I will be doing a challenge. It's not a Nuzlocke if you're going to say that, because I ain't good with Nuzlocke's. I tried one, and after the first gym, I just said, F it, I can't beat this game, I'm going to leave. <laughs> And then I just delete the file. So yeah. Hello, hello, Wedgehurst. Your champion Leon is back. I promise I'll keep doing my best to deliver the greatest battles for you all to watch. It's our undefeatable champion. Leon, you and Charizard are the greatest. Charizard gets so much fame. I think because it's a dragon. Or it's because it's usually the first fire type starter in history. Um, well, thank you for that. I hope you'll all carry on training up your Pokemon and never shy up from battle. Then come challenge me for the champion title. We're on it. We've been we've all been working on our battle skills, just like you've taught us too, Lee. Ah, uh, oops, um, frame rates. But that Charizard of yours is too strong for the likes of us to take on. Also, that man in the background is doing belly the, the belly drum. I don't know why. Let's just not question that. Uh, anyway. Too true that Charizard is blazingly strong, but other Pokemon can be strong as well. That's why I want the strongest of challengers to fill that the gym pit challenge and come battle me. I've just stood up, so I'm going to grab a bottle of water right now. Because I'm thirsty because of that two-minute skip. Eh. My wish is for Galilee's trainers work together to become the strongest in all the world. Roar! Oh, that's no button. Lee! I can barely see your hand! Hop, of course. So, my number one fan in all the world has come out of his way to pick me up. Look at you, Hop. I reckon you've grown exactly an inch, and of course, since the last time I saw you. Bingo! That's the sharp, the sort of sharp eye that's kept you undefeated for so long, eh, Lee? And these bright eyes over here, I've got it. You must be Victor, am I right? I've heard loads about you from my little brother. I'm the Gal region's greatest ever 
Pokemon champion, and a massive Charizard fan too. What is that? Why? Because I think almost like I don't know how much of the fan base, but the ma the large majority of the fan base is a Charizard fan. I don't know why. Maybe it's because shiny Charizard's black. I'm gonna shut up. You know what? People call me the undefeatable Lee. Leon. Come on, Lee, and you, Victor. Bet I can beat the both of you back home. That hop. Always wanting to be the best, isn't he? With a proper rival of his own, I bet he'd push himself to become something truly special. Well, everyone, I bid you farewell for today. But don't you fret, I'll always be around to make sure everyone in Gala come can have a champion Tom. And there he goes, I think. There we go. And camera goes up to the sky. Oh, yeah, I forgot we teleport. <laughs> I thought I had to walk. Come on, Lee, you promised us a present, so out with it. You brought Victor and me, and me Pokemon, you, di you did, didn't you? I know you must have. Right then, the greatest gift from the greatest champion. It's showtime, everyone. Take a good look, you two. Yeet! I will not do that again. The Grass-type Pokemon, Grookey. The Fire-type Pokemon, Scorbunny. And the Water-type Pokemon, Sobble. <laughs> oh, and... Ooh, headbutt. Oh. All, right. All right, line up, everyone. Here we go. Now it's time to choose the starter. And I have done some thinking. Which will you choose? All right, here we go. So, now I have to choose. Go on, you pick first. I've already got my Wooloo after all. And, screw this logic! I'm picking Sobble again! Because I can! All right. The water type Pokemon Sobble, it, ad it adapts to anything as surely as water flows. Going with Sobble again, whether people like it or not. And there we go. Would you like to give Sobble a nickname? No... Added it to the party. <sighs> also, people say, oh, but this audio is a bit too soft. Well, here's the thing. If I make it any louder, music can get copywritten. And any softer, then everyone complains that they can't hear anything. Okay. So, it'll be Sobble for you. Nice one. Then I'll go with Scorbunny. You're mine. I'm aiming to be the next champion, so be ready, you and I, and I'll be doing some serious training. And there we go. I bet you will be, Hop. That's why I brought all, brought all these Pokemon for you and Victor. So the two of you can battle and train and grow stronger together to try to reach me. But as for the Grookey, well... Lee's gonna be take well Leon is gonna be taking him, and you'll come with me. Charizard will show you the ropes. He's strict, but real strong and real kind too. Okay, alright, enough of all this trainer nonsense for one night. Dinner's ready, children. Bring along your Pokemon and let's all eat. So yeah, we're gonna let this cutscene go, and I'm gonna tell people a bit of a history lesson for like yesterday or sometime last week. So I was playing Pokemon Masters, and the event for Xerneas started, which you could get Eversal through the uh, the summoning thing. Lo and behold, I end up getting Eversal on the eighth like bar, because they do eleven, and they're like eight for one freaking Lys Lysander and 
he virtual showed up. And I finally know how to say his name correctly because I kept calling him Lysandra. <laughs> People could complain about that, but now I know it's Lysander and I was an idiot. Uh, anyways, you spent the whole night with that po- with that- no, new- with that new Pokemon. With that new partner of yours, right, Hop? You two getting on all right? Understanding one another? Maybe even built up a bit of... Uh... NEXT! <laughs> of course I have Le Oh, come on! My brain's gonna go all stupid-like again. Victor has made fast friends with his soul, too. That is actually true. Then listen up, you new trainers. Believe in yourself and your Pokemon. If you trust in one another and carry on battling side by side long enough, then someday you might even become worthy rivals for me, the undefeated, the unbeatable champion. What are you looking at him for, Lee? I'm the one who will be coming to challenge you. Uh, okay. If you think Victor might be able to challenge you, then I guess he's my first rival. Of course, logic dictates every time you have a Pokemon game, the trainer by your side is always the rival. Let's knock into that. It's terminology. But I'm not planning on to lose to him and miss out on my chance to beat an un the unbeatable champion. I think this would be worthy rivalry of like, no, like, that's the wrong game. Cynthia, damn it! I was about to say Lysithia, but this is the wrong game. Just having a Pokemon with you doesn't make you a real trainer, you know? Proper trainers raise our Pokemon up to be first rate in battle too. Oh, and you think you're worthy of calling yourself such a proper trainer already, Hop? Guess I'll be the judge of that? Let's see how you handle yourself in, ba in a battle against your friend, if he's up for it. What do you say, willing and ready to take Hop on in the first ever Pokemon battle of your life? Yeah! Believe in your partner Pokemon and care for them too, with all your heart. Do those two things and I'm certain you'll learn to choose the moves that suit your Pokemon. And more importantly, to have a champion time battling with them. Alright, here we go. Looks like everyone's on board. Pokemon and trainers alike, then let's do this. I've watched every match that Lee's ever had. I've read every book and magazine he left behind at home, too. I know exactly what to do in order to win. And, of course, we're going to fight the first rival is Hop. We're going to get more rivals later on in the game. But, yeah, anyway. Of course, he sends out a Wooloo, which is his first Pokemon. Also, I'm going to say this right now. A Pokemon battle is, is then. I've got two partners with me. And I'm going to say this. This is the only time I've seen your rival have two Pokemon at the same time. Anyway, so, Wooloo. This is a tank. Or, later on in the game, becomes a tank. Because of its high defense stats. And, of course, the first thing he starts with is a wall. And then pound again. All right. Tackle again. This is just going to be boring. But hey, I'm up for it. And pound again. And down goes the Wooloo. Alright, level 6. And lo and behold, we learn Water Gun. And just at the right time too. Because it's not over yet. I have added another trusty ally to my team. The Score Bunny. He got yesterday. Uh, or in the game is the second po- hold on. It will only know, I think, Scratch and whatever its downgrading move is. Do you already know about the type advantages? Correct? Uh, oh, it's Tackle? Okay, it's Tackle and something else. I nearly said Scratch. Which Pokemon was I thinking of? Oh, I was thinking Grookey! Damn it! That was the wrong one. Dang! Done. Opposing score bunny fainted. And there we go, level 7 as well. There we go, you defeated Trainer Hop. You beat my two Pokemon with your one? You and that soul are too much. And the first rival? Well, we are going to be battling him way too many times because I've lost count how many times we battle him. Well, that was a shock. Guess I know now why Lee thought he should give you a Pokemon too. 
You and your Pokemon all fought hard. Made me almost want to let out Charizard and join in on the all the fun. Good effort out there, Sobble. Why don't I get you all sorted? And heal. And Victor, you've got real promise. In fact, I've got a favor to ask you. Be a real rival to hop at, would you? Push him and make the both of you stronger. I already want to get stronger and stronger. You've seen me battle now, Lee. So come on! You've got to let me take on the Pokemon gyms this early? You? Join the gym challenge? You think you're ready for the single greatest competition in the Galar region? Not putting the cart before the Rapidash there, little brother. Uh, actually, that's a good point. You can't put a cart and a Rapidash. You can't put the cart in front of the Rapidash. Cause... Or, you can't put a horse in front of a cart. Well, it's supposed to be the Rapidash before the cart, not the other way around. Because you can't have a horse push unless it's a Mudsdale. Then it could do that. But yeah. If that's really what you want to do, you two have a whole lot you need to learn before po about Pokemon. Especially your friend Victor. Before you think about getting gym badges, best to think about getting a Pokedex. A trainer's Pokedex helps them learn lots of things about all the Pokemon out there, including their strengths. Well, it's more than just a collection of data. You know, it's a record of a trainer's love and passion for Pokemon training. And we won't be complaining that because I only have one Switch, not two. Right, right, we get it. Pokedexes, then we're on it. Looks like it's off to the Pokemon Research Lab for you and me, Victor. That's the kind of enthusiasm a trainer needs. I'll let the professor know to expect you. I'm going to be the next champion, so competing, completing a simple Pokedex will be nothing. Just another page in the tale of my legend. You probably better go tell your mum that we're heading off, though. Or heading out, though. Yeah. What was that? Victor, did you hear that just now? The gate's open, and the Wooloo that was there... Wooloo, you idiot! Stop your curiosity! It was tackling the fence pretty hard earlier. You don't think it actually broke through there? Yes, it did. Do you? The Wooloo is silly, but it's off limits. Nobody's supposed to go in there. I remember the professor's granddaughter went in once and she came back in a real state. And that was nothing compared to the earful she got from the professor afterwards. Victor, what do you say? We have to go save it! Right, even if we're not supposed to, this is the kind of sense where you simply have to do what's needed. Hope you're ready for anything because we're going in, Victor. We are, because we're going in there. And once we come out, we'll probably end the video. And the, the slumbering wield. Alright, here we go. That Wooloo, where do you think it got off to? Uh, the fog is really coming on thick now. If we don't find that Pokemon soon, this might be trouble. Yeah, indeed. So here we go. We're now wandering around and something popped up out of the grass. A Squavet! Alright, we're gonna water gun it because Sobel is better used as the special attacker. Also, I'm gonna be a bit safe. I'm gonna turn the audio down a bit. And I'm just gonna pound it. Because it doesn't have much HP. Down it goes. I do a stupid dance, but no. Alright. Going in. Okay. Hello? And there's a rookie D! Wait. Okay, I thought it was shiny. Wait, what color is shiny rookie D? I might put it up on screen. If just to tell people, oh, this was the color, not that color. I thought that was shiny for a second. Actually, I think the Pokemon in here are shiny locked. 
the first Pokemon you encounter, because you can't catch anything. I. Th Hello? Did you hear that? Was that a Pokemon crying out? You think? Oh, we'll continue on? Okay. Ah, that's all the way over there. Oh, it's another Squavette. Actually, if the po if that rookie D came out as shiny, I would just go nope, hit the home button and close the game because we couldn't catch it. Yeah. Okay. Here comes the tackle. And what a gun. And voila. Alright, here we go. Hello. Come on, Victor, that Wooler might be in real trouble. Hop! You went into the deepest part of the fog. Oh, God, my eyes are starting to hurt. Okay. Also, I am turning this audio down a bit further. This is mad. I can't even see my own hand in front of my face. I think I get now why this place is off limits. Hi? What in the? Huh? Alright, so we have... Uh, unknown level. Unknown everything. Uh... What? The mysterious Pokemon's gaze is fixed on you. What? The move had no effect on it. Ah, uh, water gun. Ah, the move has no effect. Uh, made it more foggier. Victor, I can't see anything. You okay? Um, growl. The move has no effect. I can't see anything. Oh, ah! Hello? Oh, Victor! What? Lee? How'd you manage to find your way here? Your pants with directions. You always get lost. Oh, that's nice to hear from the little brother who had me worried sick. I've been waiting ages for you two, and you never showed. Of course I came looking for the both of you. Wait, where's the Wooloo? We were trying to rescue the Wooloo. There he is. The little chap's just fine. Though, all of you had fainted by the time I found you here. You know, this place is out of bounds. But it took courage to come in here all the same. And I can understand well enough why you did, to, did it. You did good, Hop. And at least that wool is alright. Yeah, Victor. I thought we'd have... We'd had... To, had it when that weird fog started rolling in and that mad Pokemon attacked. But at least it wasn't all for nothing. Attack by some mad Pokemon? What are you talking about, Hop? It seems loads stronger than any Pokemon I've ever seen. And it just had this sort of presence. Our moves didn't even touch it. I mean, really. They seem to pass right through it. It moves past right through it. 
So the fearsome Pokemon they say live in the slumbering weald, are they actually illusions or something? Get strong enough and maybe the two of you could be the ones to reveal the truth someday. For now, let's simply get out of this place. You'll be alright that I'm here with you. Even if we did get an earful from Lee, what an experience! This will make a pretty fine first page of the tale of my legend. In the tale of my legend. Okay. Don't forget to tell your mum we're off to Witchhurst now. She'll go spare if you leave without a word. She'll go sparse. She'll go spare. Spare if you leave without a word. Even worse than Lee just did. Uh, of course. Anyways, yeah. We're finally going to use the save feature. Right there. So yeah. Next time on Pokemon Store, we're going to actually make word and, you know, all sorts of stuff. I'll see you all later.